Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. One of my all-time favorite dishes is French onion soup. And if you know anything about me, I also love chicken. So I thought, hmm, what if you combine these and make some French onion chicken? I did it and it turned out incredible. So rich, so yummy, combined with the gravy. You gotta try this, so let me walk you through this and let's get started. So for starters, I've got three boneless skinless chicken breasts and I'm going to season this up with some salt and of course some ground black pepper and one of my all-time favorite spices, a little bit of thyme. This just adds some additional beautiful flavor to it. Of course you're going to do this for both sides. Next up, I'm going to add some oil to a preheated pan. I'm using a cast iron pan, but you know, you can use whatever you like. Add the chicken in. I just love that sizzle. And we're going to cook this for a few minutes on each side, just until it's cooked through. Okay, after about three minutes on each side, we've got a nice sear going on here. And it might not be totally cooked through, but remember you're gonna simmer this for about 15, 20 minutes. So we're just gonna set this aside on a plate. In the same pan, I'm gonna add in, oh, a good knob of butter. And this is a tablespoon or so, and let it melt down. And of course, you're gonna use the same pan. You don't wanna touch this because you've got a lot of nice flavor happening here. And I'm going to add a bit of oil here too because that keeps the butter from burning. All right, now we're going to add in about one and a half fairly large onions. We're going to cook this for a few minutes until they're nicely browned. By the way, what do you get when you cut an onion? Tear gas. <laughs> Ooh, just look at this, guys. After about 15 minutes, our onions have browned nicely. So I'm going to add in two tablespoons of flour and stir this until there are no forms of white. And this is going to help our broth thicken up nicely. Now I'm going to add in a cup and a half of beef stock. A bit more time. Oh, I just love thyme. What time is it? Some salt and pepper. Okay, we're just gonna give this a stir and bring it to a boil. I should mention too that you can add chicken stock, but I just like beef stock because of the color and I just love the taste. Now we have a nice boil going on here. I'm gonna add the chicken back in. Reduce the heat a little bit, and we're going to allow this to simmer uh, for about 15-20 minutes. Of course, periodically, you want to spoon some of that delicious sauce over the chicken, and maybe even give the breasts a flip. And if you want to make sure your chicken is fully cooked through, you can use your meter thermometer. This is a product I just love. It just cooks everything perfectly, just gives you all the information you need. You can download the app on you know any tablet you have it it gives you the cooking time and the resting time and when it's ready to eat it's just a fabulous product okay guys after 15 20 minutes the chicken is just beautifully done and just look at the texture of this sauce just incredible so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and add a piece of Swiss cheese over the top Mm -mm. place a lid on and just let this cheese melt down and I should mention too you can use different kinds of cheeses but you know I love Swiss after about two or three minutes I'm gonna kill the heat the cheese is melted beautifully 
and I'm just going to garnish this up with some green onions. You can use parsley, whatever you like. Doesn't this look incredible? And there you have it, guys, our one-pan French onion chicken. Incredibly delicious. Oh my goodness, just look at this, guys. This cheesiness, oh, the gravy, absolutely delicious. Okay, let's go ahead and plate this up. Oh, look at that goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Oh my goodness, guys, this is so delicious. The cheese, the sauce is just out of this world. The chicken is tender. Mm. I gotta have more of that sauce. Mm. And the onions are done so well. Mm -hmm. You gotta try this. And of course, you can always find this recipe at cookandshare.com. All kinds of great stuff over there. Keep you cooking forever. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.